In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create this map code HUD animation that swaps between the map code and the map name. So yeah, let's get into it. Before the video starts, I will be selling this on my PayHip. Obviously, you can watch the video and make it yourself and do it for free. But if you would just like to purchase it, and all you have to do is just change the text of the map code and the map name, you can do that by going to my PayHip. The link to that is down in the description and purchasing it. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create the graphic for the map code display. I'm in Photoshop. You should be able to do it in the free version of Photo P as well. The layout might be a bit different, but you should be able to do the exact same thing. So what I'm first going to do is going to come over to shapes and grab the rectangle here. I'm going to come up to the top here. I want to make the curve 30 pixels. And then I'm simply just going to left click and drag to the right to create this. I'm going to change the color to black. It actually looks like the curve is not that good. I'm going to make it 50. Might even make it a little bit more like 70 because I want it to be pretty round. I'm just going to adjust it as well. That looks to be good. I also just want to make sure that's centered. I do that. Okay. Once you have done that, I am quickly just going to come over to the opacity and lower it down. To 60 will look like this next to create the like magnifying glass thing here I go back to shapes I'm gonna quickly just make a circle I'm gonna change the color to white I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger so it'll make it a little bit easier make it bigger like this and then you want to find a magnifying glass icon on Google I found this one here I'm quickly just gonna make it black because it'll make it easier for what I want to do. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align it in the middle of the circle here. So that looks good. I'm going to come up here to the uh, magic wand tool. I'm going to select, I'm going to click on the black magnifying glass and select it. Um, once you have it selected, you're going to come down to your circle. And then what you want to do is click the mask and then control I, and then I'm just gonna delete the magnifying glass. And then now you have a circle with the magnifying glass cut out. Then I'm just gonna make it smaller, fit inside the map code display that we made. And just like that, we have created it. So now all you gotta do to export it is file, export, save, and then Save it as a PNG. You want to make it PNG so the background is transparent. And then now we're going to go to UEFN and import it there. So now that I'm back in UEFN, um, just to make it organized, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Map Code 2 since I already have a folder called Map Code. The reason why I already have this is because I've already created it. I actually put it on Twitter. So if you guys don't follow me there, you go check it out. But obviously, for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to make it. I'm just going to go into the Map Code 2 folder. Then I'm going to click import and then select the graphic that we made in Photoshop or if you guys use the free version of Photo P. So as you can see, I've imported it, but we have this like little error. So to fix this, all you got to do is just go into it, double click, and then under texture group, you want to switch this to UI. And this should fix your problem. Yeah, now it's no longer there. Next step is we're going to be creating a user interface widget blueprint. So to do this, all you got to do is right click user interface and then widget blueprint. Or you can just click add same thing, user interface widget blueprint. You're going to click user widget. I'm just going to call it top middle app code UI. And then double click to go into it. Once you are here, you want to come over to the left on this panel and drag in the canvas panel. Then I'm going to go back to my content drawer and drag in the graphic that we created. I'm going to Scale it up so it is towards the top. And then you and then there's six squares in length. You want to make sure you put it in the middle and just a little bit below and make sure it's aligned in the middle here. And then there's this anchor. So this um, is where the image will be directed when uh, people's HUD scales are different. So you obviously want to make it at the very top. So the image, if the, if the player's HUD scale is bigger or smaller, will go towards that point there. So now that we have that set up, we now need the text. So for that, I'm just going to come over to the left, UEFN text block. I'm going to drag it in. And on the right here, you can see the text. 
I'm just going to put in, let's say, the map code for now. Do 111. Or, sorry, yeah. 1234-5678-0000. Like that. Let's make this a little bit bigger so it aligns properly. And then you also want to come down to justification. Put it in the middle. And then now we just want to line it up to where it's in the middle of this. So you can see here that it's like moving, like it's not moving with my actual, like what I'm trying to do. But for that, you can just come down to translation. You can use this here to make it more uh, perfect. So I'm going to put it up, zoom out. Still looks not, this still looks to be off. So got to adjust a little bit. That looks to be the right height, but then I need to adjust it to the right a little bit. Yeah, that looks to be good. Now, since we want it to fade in and out, we got to create another text. So I'm just going to control C and control V and just place it right over in the exact same spot. And then this is going to be your map name. We already did map code, so it's going to be your map name. So let's just say, for example, I want to do I'm making a murder mystery map. I'm going to type murder mystery. You can click this eye here just to hide it to see what it look like. You can see it lines pretty perfect in the middle because we already adjusted it with the map code. And then I'm just going to retoggle that. And you can see it's overlaying right now, but when we actually create the animation, everything should work out good fine. I'm going to compile the top left just to save everything. Save the bottom right. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the animation. So for this, I'm going to come down to animations, click animation. Let's name it. Um, map code and name doesn't really matter what you name it and then i'm going to uh, click on one of our texts like add and then add text block now you can see that this is um that text block it looks to be the murder mystery one so i'm just going to rename this so let me do map name so now that we added the map name, we now need to add the map code. So I'm just going to click the text block with the map code here. Back to animation, add text block. I'm going to rename it to map code. Next, since we want one to be hidden, one to be visible, and then uh, vice versa, we're going to click on the plus on each one and add visibility. I'm going to do visibility for both of them. And then since we want the map code to show first, we're going to put a keyframe at the beginning. Go to the halfway point, put another keyframe for visible or for visible, and then I got to make this bigger to five now, and then go towards that. Okay, and I put the keyframe. Oh, why it does this? We just got to put the keyframe back to 2.5, then go to the end and click hidden. You can see that the map code pops up, and then okay, oh, what's going on? So now we need to go to the middle and click hidden. So now uh, the first three seconds, the map code shows, and then after it disappears. Now we got to the opposite for the map name. You want to go to the first point here at zero, zero, do hidden or the halfway point, put visible, and then just put another keyframe there. So now it should work. Yeah, there we go. Now, when we play it, you can see the map code pops up and then once it goes, then the map code pops up. Now you can keep it just like that if you'd like, or it just swaps like that. But in the video I posted on Twitter, I showed it fading in and out. So let's get to that now. So now to do that fade in and out, you wanna click the plus on the track and then click color and opacity. And I'm gonna click the arrow to go down. And for this, simply want to put a keyframe at the beginning, then Go to, I'd say, uh, just 0.5 before it goes hidden. Put another keyframe and then go to 2.5. And then the keyframe that you put down, you want to put the A for opacity to 0, 0.0. Enter, and then it'll go like that. So now when you play it, you'll see that 0.5 seconds before it fades out. And that's what we wanted. So now for the map name basically do the exact same thing click the plus go to color and opacity we'll do the same thing 
since it's hidden, we're going to click uh, just the add the thing there. And here, at this point, the halfway through, since now it's popping up, we want to go to color and opacity, change it to 0, 0.00. And then at 3, since it's 0.5 seconds after now, we want to put 1. And then go towards the end again, just keyframe the 1. Now, if we play the animation in full, you'll see that the map code shows, it fades away, and then the murder mystery map name fades back in. When you're done that, you want to make sure that you compile and then save. Now, for this to actually work, you want to come to view bindings, click add view model, and then you want to click device message view model. You're going to select that, click the X. So once you've done that, you want to come to add condition. There's no field selected, click this text and then click select then go to no field selected click top middle and then click q play animation like that next we want to click this link to bind it no field selected top middle map code and then map code and name so this is your animation name wherever you named your animation here that's what you'll put so boom boom select and then number loops to play since we want it to keep playing over and over again. We're just going to put it to the highest amount that we can. So you're done again, compile and save in the bottom right. Next, what you're going to do is go back to UEFN. We are going to go to the HUD message device. Drag it out. We're going to do show and round start. Zero seconds. Display time we're going to turn off because we want it to show forever. We're going to clear the sound to get rid of it. For this, we're going to put top center. Then in the HUD widget, you're going to put our blueprint that we created. So it's the top middle map code UI is what I named it. We're going to turn off the animations. If you want to add animations, you can. And that should be it. So now I'm going to launch session and show you guys how it looks in game. So I've loaded in and it looks like we have some alignment issues, but this can be easily fixed. I'm just going to go back to UEFN. Looks like I forgot to do a few steps. I'm just going to go back into my widget blueprint and then when I click on the text yeah so the alignment was not correct so for this time I'm going to put it right in the middle I'm going to do that for both texts put them right in the middle like that and then I'm going to adjust the graphic we did as well so now all the anchors alignments are in the middle I'm going to save I'm going to go back to the HUD message device that we created and let's see if there's a better one. We're gonna go to custom. And then we're gonna go to top center. Save. And then I'm gonna push changes and hopefully that fixes what happened. So I've now loaded up the game and you guys can see that it fades in and out between the map code and the map name. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on what tutorial you would like to see next. Also, please make sure to check my Discord and my PayHip. Both the links to those are down in the description. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next one.